Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making homemade apple cider. This is the signature drink of fall time. Something about apple cider in the fall, it just makes me feel all cuddly and cozy. This recipe is so easy to make. If you have never made homemade apple cider, oh my gosh, you are in for something amazing. It's so many layers of flavor, so fresh tasting, and it's easy. So, let's go. Okay, here's our cast of characters right here. Now, if you don't like citrusy taste in your apple cider, just don't use the lemon and the um, orange, okay? Boom. All right, so I'm gonna cut up my apples. I'm using a variety of apples here. I got some Gala, I have some Granny Smith, I have some um, Red Delicious. Use a variety of your favorite apples from Sour Sweet. That's the best kind. We're gonna dice these bad boys up, cut them up into little slices. Don't have to be like perfect. You know, we're gonna mash them up anyway. So this looks good. Lots and lots of apples. If you have a surplus of apples, make apple cider. So easy, okay? Dice them all up, and I'm so glad you guys cannot see me because I am looking a mess today. I'm in lounge mode, honey, all the way lounge mode. It's fall time, gotta be comfy. Okay, take all these apples and throw them into your crock pot. You can also do this on the stove, but I prefer the crock pot because you can kind of just like, you know, set it and forget it. Go ahead and peel up your orange, you guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely hate peeling oranges. I've had, I have always hated peeling oranges. I don't know why, it's just, ah, don't like it. Okay, so peel the orange. Throw it into your crock pot and then I also um, peeled up my lemon, place my little lemon in the crock pot to give it some time. And then we're going to take our water. We're just going to fill it up with water until it's completely covered up. And now we are good. Here, go ahead and give it a stir. Something about stirring this up, you really can't help. You don't have to stir it up, but I, I really cannot help stirring it up. And that's me and Ethan dancing to, um, where are we dancing to? Oh, Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Come, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, so now we're good. We're gonna add in some cinnamon, lots and lots of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add in some whole clove. Now you guys, I put a lot of cinnamon and a lot of whole clove because I like an apple cider that has a real bold cinnamon clovey taste, but you can kind of cut back if that's not your thing, honey, okay? We're gonna cover this up, all right? We're gonna let this simmer for four hours at least. I went ahead and did it overnight, okay? 12 hours, I did 12 hours and I was so nervous. Like, oh my God, what if like a squirrel comes and like rip through the screen? I was kind of nervous, but yeah. But here it is, after it has simmered overnight, perfect. Go ahead and mash it on up. This part is fun. I don't know why, but I love this part. Go ahead and mash it really, really good. Get all that flavor extracted. Yum, yum, yum. Gorgeous. And there's that, um, where's the cinnamon stick at? Cause it was like, there it is. I mean, it's like completely flattened out, honey. All that flavor is gone. He's well out, done, tried through, perfect. All right, so that looks good. Now go ahead and get your little cheesecloth. Gra uh, grape it, <laughs> drape it over a pot. I can't talk, Sha. And now just go ahead and pour that apple cider mixture into your little pot here. We're gonna strain it really, really good, okay? So just pour it into your little cheesecloth. Then gather up, did I say glather? Why can't I talk, what is going on? Gather up your cheesecloth and just let all that liquid just slowly ease out. And then go ahead and get you a fine mesh strainer. And we're gonna strain it into our pitcher. I strain it twice because I like a super smooth apple cider. I don't like any chunks or anything like that. Mm -mm. So I strain it twice and there we have our homemade apple cider, yum. And who do we have down here, huh, huh, huh? Oh, it's my little girl Zonka, my little puppy. She's like a lion, isn't she huge? Oh my gosh, she's like a beast. Okay, now it's time to sweeten it up because right now it just tastes like apples and cinnamon water. It's kind of boring. You gotta add the sugar, okay? So we're gonna add in some white sugar. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. Yes, vanilla extract and now that brown sugar get in there and make mama proud. Throw in that brown sugar, stir it up. I like a lot of sugar so I added like <laughs> kind of a lot because I like a sweet apple cider, you know? Yeah. Okay, then you can garnish it with some apple slices, some more cinnamon, and then you're done. Serve it steaming hot or even ice cold, but that is it, you guys. Homemade apple cider. So good. Go get the recipe on my blog at dwitsandcook.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.